What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. It's me and Steve, Eric and Steve here. Um, haven't been to the homestead in a little while and um, came back to check it out and do an update with Steve here. Just gonna walk. Remember that uh, hill where I told you I was gonna clean up one day and I laughed about it, but uh, we did it. Took like four guys, two chainsaws, and like uh, four weekends. We just basically gave the whole hill a a big haircut and then I came through and started adding to terraces these are like well some of them are about seven hundred dollars to build with the constant lumber so I stopped we just kind of like did some makeshift with metal sticks for the time being this is just for the yeah for this, this year man they keep talking about a food shortage so you know what I'm not gonna have a food shortage this was an overgrown ivy covered hillside this is like what's behind it ferns and trees yeah. and stuff I had to put a fence up because the deer came actually my other I put another garden up on the other side of the property, I'll show you that one. That one's like awesome. This one's pretty awesome too. Let's get yeah. up a little higher of an elevation. Okay. So we can actually see this broccoli and this cabbage. I don't know, it might be too hot right here for me, but they're growing. But you got like one tomato plant right there. That's one just sprawling over the whole ground right there. That's pretty crazy. So. And you guys remember the old aquaponic systems down there? I'm gonna show you something took else the, here. We took the, uh, no more garden on the roof, right? Well, there's a garden on the roof, but I took the cover off because it looked like hell. It had been hit by trees and the, the windstorms down here. and It just kind of looked shitty to begin with, but right. it did work. It was, I learned a lot from that. So show me what's going on up here. All right, so still got another hunk of property over to the brown fence. You can see there's a big area. And I may actually fence that area in really good, build a little structure and maybe put a goat out there, I was thinking. But for now, we got our food trees. There's some that I wasn't able to get in this fence. I gotta dig them up. I'll put about 20 food trees. Some of them didn't make it. These guys, I'm still trying to like keep them in the wet. Right away. We built some new pins yeah, I see that. here. Yeah. We added on to the chicken scoop and we got some uh, chicken ducks. I used to have these ducks called Golden 300s and they lay eggs every day, but a little soon you figure you know what i got a lot of eggs i don't really need any more eggs but i wish i had some meat so and it's unfortunate because all these chickens maybe it's different than him but he's the rooster but uh these are all pretty much egg chickens i'm gonna get some meat birds and i have the rabbits still nice dude the rabbits for all intents and purposes provide me with organic compost i don't really haven't really eaten them and i haven't really uh <coughs> but we added this whole area so this is a hill going down so I built a little makeshift retaining wall. It's actually a retaining wall with the polycarbonate, so it's not going anywhere. <clears throat> and then all the brush that I will ever make and clippings, it all gets thrown into here. Yeah. And then uh, the chickens eventually will be able to come out here. Right now I got them. There's the little baby ducks. They're about yeah, they're about a month and a half old, six weeks old. There's some muscovies. <clears throat> they're really cool looking ducks. Nice. <laughs> they're pretty cool. She's like, that's a, a, a hybrid peaking and her, the male died about maybe a month ago, so she was by herself. She, she actually kind of took to these guys and she keeps the chickens away from them. Aww. But I did shed it, because there was this one chicken that was around and they were pecking them. Oh, so it's kind of segregated now until these guys are, and they're getting pretty big. When you get them up and, I mean, they're about as big as those chickens. They're gonna be huge, they're gonna be 12 pound ducks. So this was so this all hillside, all, this, this was, was just, hillside. yeah. Was space overgrown. Right, and now you built this it out, And this was extension. all, I did a bathroom remodel and another remodel and I had all these I got like a lot of this crappy two by fours from there put a wire roof on top so the predators can't get in and then out here it's just a net and uh if you look through this fence I don't know if you can see through the fence but you'll see like plants you can kind of see it you'll see plants climbing up those are chayote squash they're like a Mexican squash they look like a giant avocado maybe two pounds and they're covered with spikes, but they're right. delicious. And maybe That's, not this year. So they're they'll gonna, be up here this year. They'll be here in the food and they hang through the netting. And right, and you can just pick them through the netting. Yeah, okay, those, little, those little things. This is another area that we added. It goes right, you know, it kind of goes down to the compost area. And then I cut the hole through here, which gives them a place of shelter for the sun right now. And then right. eventually that door opens and it goes into that whole thing. And then the yeah, room down below. So it's, right. I mean, you're looking at- They have a lot of area This now. is a big chicken coop. I can put a lot of birds in. There's also like right here is the property line. And this, so this is like a different tax, tax oh, bill. Oh, that's basically. right. So right and this here. This is a different tax bill. So this property can have 15 birds. This property can have 15 birds. So that basically increases the size of my flock and small animals that the county lets you have. Okay. You gotta pay attention to all this weird shit because there's all these people in the world that city ordinances. Yeah. But, uh, 
Hey, they got a little pond here. I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna, I gotta put a, a pipe through here because ducks are pretty nasty, watch this. They'll still swim in it, but you will see all this crud right here. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna put a pipe in there so I can actually uh, empty it. And I'm gonna empty it into a tank. And I have this good idea where all that's gonna go into a, a big IBC container. Yeah. And all the heavies are gonna separate and sit on the bottom. Then maybe like once a month, you'll open up the valve and all this nasty, basically, I don't wanna say what it is, but it's nasty. Right. It's gonna come out and fill up a bucket. And I'm gonna throw it in the worm bin and then cover it up. And that's what they'll get to eat. And nice, dude. Be, and then you can use the water for gardening. Go. So the aquaponics system I had was in that greenhouse, but the, it goes a different way than with the sun. The sun just never went the right way. It never got the sun it needed when I was using the shade. But it's also open here, so I moved it all up here. I had to carry basically 4,000 pounds of lava rocks and all this stuff up, I don't know, 150 stairs, 150 feet in elevation. And uh, this one's different. So what I do now is I just basically, there's a pump in here. It's like a 10-speed pump. This is a badass pump. It's a 24-volt pump. It's plugged into 120, and then it gives this 24 volts to the motor. And I mean, I'm at speed two. I can speed this all the way up to 10, and it—I mean, it's like it's way too much. But I mean, that's it's on two right now. Which is, is that how fast the trickle of water will be? You mean? Yeah. And then I adjust. This isn't the. I mean, I'm going to continually work on this. This is just how I have it how hooked up right now. Right. So this one it operates on. I'm always pumping water in, and it's always draining. There's, it doesn't, so it's, there's always going to be, you see the water level right there? That water level pretty much never changes. And there's always fresh water coming in. To, so it's not stagnant. Yeah. I mean, the drains come out of the bottom, so there's right. not going to be any anaerobic bacteria that will break down. But look at, I mean, let's go around and look at this water. Okay. Oh. Nice, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right, yeah, we, so we got, I got a variety of stuff. This is called Epizote. I got this going all over the property now, and it's a Mexican herb. Try it. It's it's powerful. It's actually it kills worms. It's used to So I feed it to the chickens. I feed it to the rabbits. I feed it to the ducks, and I put it on my salad. I'll make a big salad, and this is how I make my salad. I'll come out here. I think you last year. I just come out and take. But I mean, some of these lettuces down the way here are like off the hook, and I got my arugula in here growing. And all these things are doing. You, you just plant them, and the. Uh, what do you think of that? Yeah, this is okay. That was pretty good. So I got first, and that's pretty crazy because uh, this is one of the most healthiest plants on earth right here, and it's wild. It's a wild plant. The annual. If I could actually, I was actually going to make another run of these and just grow organic wild edibles and yeah. just sell them like that. I could do first land. I could do water cress, super easy in this. I could do miner's lettuce. Okay. okay. All right, so oh damn, dude! This, look at these. this looks nice. My, look at my hand. Oh my god. Look at this lettuce. Beautiful, dude. This is all organic. Just high, super high quality. You're just coming out here still picking salads yeah. for dinner. That's amazing, bro. And then, uh, so like I wow. said, so what you have here is you have a dirt pot that is buried as a, maybe two or three inches below the depth of the water. Yeah. And it, so it soaks so, up that nutrient? Well, the dirt, the roots down there can just pull from the system. So these, maybe they, maybe they would or maybe they wouldn't grow well in an aquaponic setting. They're still, this is like a, called a wicking system. So they're able to wick up, and I mean, look at the amount of plants you got. I got uh, what are those things? Tomatillos in there. I got a zucchini squash going in there, and I got those chayotes like I was telling you. Nice. And dude. then I got some Malabar spinach. Heck yeah. The lady over there. Oh yeah. With more giant lettuces. These lettuces have been in here for three weeks. This is three weeks. Wow. That's what will blow your mind. If I could show you three weeks growing on the hill, there's nothing like this. From seed or from sprouted? These are from. Like the nursery, I bought oh, yeah, yeah. a six pack. I bought yeah. two six packs and I put them in here. It cost me ten dollars to grow yeah. all this lettuce right here. Right. I'm gonna have I me mean, this one head of lettuce. I gotta say, it's not even ready yet. I mean, it's gonna be probably worth ten bucks when it's done. Right. With water and then a drain and full of water, it's easy to maintain. So we're going to another garden section here. Um, if you guys want to learn about how. Um, Steve's built this aquaponic system you know let us know in the comments if there's anything that you guys are interested in that you want more in-depth videos on uh, let us know in the comments give us a thumbs up and we're back so uh... I'm just gonna let Eric do a little video of all these containers these are all wine barrels that I got for 25 bucks in Napa and then 
a lot of IBC containers and then just some extra planters that I had that I just utilized. They're just housing good soil while they're doing. Everything goes to seed. I need it till it turns to seeds and then I collect the seeds and we're gonna start selling. These are all like heirloom varieties. We're gonna start selling seeds for you guys. So when they run out of seeds soon, we'll be able to get them from us. That one, that one tomato plant right there. Wow, it just keeps going. All fruit trees. Dude. Well, we just wanted to give you guys an update on the uh, on the garden and uh, what's been going on here. Like I said, if there's something you know you want more an in-depth video on, let us know in the comments. We read all the comments, and um, we're gonna be um, some ideas about building aquaponic systems and you know possibly shipping to people that are interested in it, or you know if you want them the plans <clears throat> to how to build your own aquaponic system or when we extend that one maybe we can do a video on that of course we will so yeah check it out leave comments and uh, like subscribe and we'll keep making more videos anything else you want to add mm -hmm. we'll show them two more alright so I uh, thought that you know the garden tour was done and then boom Walking into here to see what's going on. Oh, yeah, this is where the aquaponics yeah, rocks used to, used to be. Yeah. It was in the sun, but the sun goes this way and then it's, it's gone. It wasn't enough. Right. This is all dirt from where I grew the ladies last year. Yeah. I had to dig that down like three feet because someone built that wall way too high. It was going to fall down. So I'm taking all that dirt and I put it into every container that I own. And I'm going to mix uh, manure and I'm going to go buy some good and I'm going to get my big drill and just mix it up, <clears throat> filter it out, get all the rocks out of it and use these as containers. I got another, but these are all going to go into them. I got like, these are all uh, turnips right here. There's one of those epizote. Nice. These are all beets right here. These are all more onions. Nice. These are all radishes of different types and varieties. And this is all lettuce right here. From the lettuce that I grew last year on the roof, that the seeds that I saved. Yeah. And that's, that's, when, uh, that's one of the things I've been able to do and learn is how to like, grow something, eat it all year long, let it go to seed, collect the seeds, and save them for next year. That's exactly. a skill. That's, 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 that's very involved. important. That's feed very you know, important. Little, your plant right. Yeah, right. And we have this. This is the other aquaponic system. But yeah, the aquaponic system we first showed you guys. It had, it had I think that was... Squash and zucchini. It, that was too much. Yeah. But this is all... Like oh, it's warm back here. Mint, yeah, it's really hot. And all my basil, they like it out here like that. Yeah. And then I've got some other experiments going in here, down here. Nice, dude. These are more wicking. And all these uh, juveniles. I got a lot of ground thing that's got to go in. A lot of carrots, a lot of beets, a lot of beans, a lot of uh, peas. You were saying potatoes too. Yeah, I got awesome. potatoes growing here in these big containers. You can nice. see them already starting to grow out, and I got some more giant containers for some yams. Nice, dude. Right on. All right, well, hope you guys enjoy, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.